Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at Oracle Open World, and I'm here with Gary Orenstein of Fusion IO, and he's going to show us about the new data accelerator solution for Oracle that they've designed specifically for HP. Now, what makes this special? What makes it accelerate data? Absolutely. So we're here at Oracle Open World, live on the show floor, and HP has come out with this great data accelerator solution for Oracle. Basically, it's a reference architecture for customers that the hardware, the software, and a critical component, the HP IO accelerators, which Fusion IO makes for HP, are all bundled into this solution that HP has tested and where the HP uh, engineering team for Oracle has gone through and made sure that everything works great together. And the end result for the customer is a great experience running Oracle faster, uh, more efficiently, using you know, less infrastructure because that infrastructure is enabled by these flash memory devices which go inside the HP DL980 server, as well as many other servers that HP carries. So this is actually a storage solution that sits inside the server as opposed to going, uh, sending your data out to a SAN. Exactly. So, you know, flash media has been around now for a few years, and one of the things that Fusion IO found is that you want to put flash in the best position to succeed. If it's outside the server on the far side of the network, there's a lot of lag time and latency involved with the application or the database going out to get that data. When you put the flash memory inside the server, all of that latency goes away, and so you get an enormous performance benefit for applications like Oracle, which are so sensitive to delays in getting the data that they need to continue processing operations. So placing the flash inside the server, right on the PCI bus, close to the CPU, puts the flash media in a great position to succeed, and it's a better overall solution for customers, higher performance, less infrastructure, simpler to deploy. So is there, is there specific data benchmarking around how much faster this is than, say, sending your data out to a SAN? Well, just to take some uh, numbers, when we talk about movement of data on a motherboard, we're typically talking in microseconds. When we talk about data moving out to disk drives, across a network, we're typically talking about milliseconds. That's a thousand-fold difference. Now, when you get up to the application and the differences, you're going to get different numbers for different situations. But for example, we've seen customers, uh, case studies of, of Fusion, customers using Oracle and doing intensive data warehousing queries, where they've seen as much as a 40x improvement by using uh, Fusion I.O. drives as opposed to you know, going out to traditional spinning media. Now the benefit that the HP customers will get, obviously that mileage may vary, but we've, we do routinely see multiple um, orders of magnitude improvement because particularly in those applications that have been starved for data where the CPUs have to spend more time waiting than processing. So are there specific uh, types of database operations that benefit more from using this Fusion IO solution than, than others? Yeah, so there's a, a number of different configurations. Obviously, uh, databases are IO intensive, and <clears throat> you know there are very few cases where you're running a database where you don't need some kind of a performance level there. But there are different deployment methods for how you can go about this. For example, if your database is small, you could put the entire database on a single HP IO accelerator. Or if your database is larger, you might want to have that uh, database on multiple HP IO accelerators that are inside a single server, like the reference architecture that was uh, being released at the show. There's also cases where you might want to selectively take a portion of your database and place that directly on an HP IO accelerator. For example, you might say the redo logs are particularly intensive and that requires a little bit more performance than my general table space. So maybe I'm going to take that portion and put it onto the HPIO accelerator and sort of get the maximum bang for your buck. So the good news about this is that customers have a wide variety of deployment options. Everything from putting the entire database onto uh, multiple IO accelerators in a single server or to selectively taking some of the most active data or to using some things that are built into Oracle like Oracle has its own smart flash cache software feature which will take uh, flash memory that's made available to it inside the server and turn that into a cache and Oracle manages the entire thing automatically so it's quite simple from an end user perspective. How about uh, a theoretical limit of storage in this, in this sort of concept? Is there, is there a maximum that you can go in, in say the DL980? Uh, the, the DL980 can be chock full of multiple uh, IO drives and reach well over 10 terabytes in capacity. 
And so there really is, you know, there. Once you get beyond that, um, you know, obviously there's a case here or there, but you know, the vast majority of the work that most customers do is on databases that are significantly smaller than that. In fact, we have a lot of customers who will put the entire database onto a single HPIO accelerator. Um, so you know, that, that could be a you know, terabyte sized database. And, um, terabyte is uh, still quite a bit of you know way, ways for most <laughs> folks. Most folks we see really in a few hundred gigabytes range. So I don't think capacity is necessarily a, a huge obstacle. And again, customers have the ability to put that across multiple HPIO accelerators and use something like Oracle ASM, which is Oracle's automated storage manager. What that allows folks to do is use Oracle to view all of the HPIO accelerators individually, and then ASM will load balance accordingly. So if you had a particular uh, HPIO accelerator that was you know, unduly active, then the ASM would spread that load out across the other IO drives and keep everything running smoothly. That's a pretty smart solution. So this is the solution that's for like the DL980 and, and larger form factor servers. What about the blade servers? Correct. Correct. So the blade servers are really neat in that HP right now is the exclusive uh, purveyor of blade server solutions for uh, based on Fusion IO technology. And so th this is the mezzanine card, as it's called, for the HP uh, blade centers. And you know, blade centers have a great uh, uh, use case, variety of use cases. Of course, people use them for running Oracle. Uh, the blade centers also happen to be very popular with virtualization as well. And so people like doing a virtualization on uh, Blade Center solutions. In VDI, it's a very simple configuration, a virtual desktop infrastructure. You can simply take the, um, the golden OS image that you have, plus the clones of that OS image that you have as you're serving up all of your virtual desktops, and just make sure that those golden, the golden image and the clones are on the Fusion IO drive, and then those end users are going to benefit from that performance. In fact, there's some cases where customers say that the experience of a virtual desktop on Fusion IO is actually better than their old desktop uh, when they had the stuff locally. Now, maybe they had an old desktop, who knows, but uh, for those who, who need a little impetus to get the end users over the uh, uh, finish line with VDI, deploying that with Fusion IO is another great arena. Excellent. Well, thanks, Gary. Thanks very much for having us.